Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, I'm back here with an update on this uh, new Patient Vitals Network that I was talking about last week. Uh, you remember I was talking about the loops, uh, the loop that I was experiencing. I think we're on to something. Um, and I believe it was a spanning tree issue. So right now, I have both switches. These are the two uplinks right here. Um, it's actually going to end up being four uplinks. I have both of them connected into this switch here, up on this module and this module, port 116, port 316. <coughs> Excuse me. They're both connected, and we are not having any issues at all. So, uh, so what was the issue? I'm glad you asked. Um, so just a brief recap. This this is how it was. Man, I hope you guys can see those little lines there. We'll, we'll, we'll try. Sorry. Um, I just drew it up real quick. So we have my two core switches right here. That's it, it's extreme fabric, and then we have these two distribution switches right here. The way I had them connected is you had the two distribution switches connected to the edge switches with an M lag. So the fiber we had one fiber pair going to one switch, one fiber pair going to another switch. They were set up on this end as just a straight up lag. On this end they're set up as an M lag, which will span these two switches. Over on this side, the connection to the core, I had a lag, single lag, not an M lag, not a not an SMLT. An MLT. Single lag from this switch to here, and a single lag from the other distribution switch to the same guy. Then I had two separate MLTs set up over here that spanned these two switches. They had two MLTs and two lags coming from these two switches that are serving M lags out to my edge switches. So I talked to Extreme. And the first thing he, he, the engineer said was, well, really, these should be an M lag going to these two guys. He said, you, should, you shouldn't, shouldn't do a, a single lag to each one. Just make it an M lag like you did over here on this side. Okay, well, I can do that. <clears throat> so I went and pulled out the uh, config for this, this second MLT and then added these two ports into this, this, same, this other port. This, 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 making it one MLT, in other words. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here. So now I had four ports, one, two, three, four, in the same MLT, SMLT. And on this side, on my distribution switches, I, it was really easy. I mean, these, these two were already lags. So then all I have to do is just build the MLT on both switches, which is just a single command, you know, on both switches that adds those into an uh, ML, uh, MLT, MLAG, sorry, getting my terms crossed, MLAG. So that was easy, one, one command will do that. So I did that. So as I was checking my config to make sure everything looked right, I noticed this port, this port, and this port had a command, but this port did not. So one port on port switch three, which is one of the ports I was connecting in, was missing this command here. I don't know if you probably can't see it, but I'll, I'll get it close so you can. It says no spanning tree, force port, state, enable. And that command is used on the uh, fabric switches when you're setting up a, a lag or a MLT or an SMLT. Any, anytime there's a redundant connection, you need to take those ports out of spanning tree. So that one port there all the others were taken out of spanning tree. This one was not. So, did all that. I'm sitting here thinking what to say. And now this is how I have it connected in. The highlighted lines are, are what are actually connected. So, you can see I've got a few of my, uh, sorry, there we go. See, I've got a few of my edge switches connected. The two distribution switches, which are in the middle there, they are both connected to that bottom 
switch, which is core switch three. They are connected in uh, redundantly, as you see there, and everything is working. So the only thing I have not tried to do is reboot one of those distribution switches. Um, we'll, we'll try that next week. <laughs> but for right now, everything seems to be working. So at this point, I can't tell you the exact mechanism that was causing the loop, other than it was a spanning tree loop of some kind. But I can tell you what fixed it, and that was um, putting on the distribution switches, the uplinks to the core, putting those all in one ML, uh, MLAG, and then on the, the core side, putting them all in one MLT. And uh, that seemed to cure the issue. Uh, like I said, I still need to do, to do a reboot on those, those two cores to make sure, or cores, not the cores, the two distribution switches to make sure we still have connectivity out to the edge. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to do it. So anyway, that's the update. We we got the problem worked around. We think. Um, and yeah, it looked like it was spanning tree um, because that that one command there that shouldn't have been missed. And I don't know if I missed it or my partner missed it or I deleted it or my partner deleted it or but Extreme looked at the config too and they they saw nothing wrong with it. So, um, if these old eyes missed it, then a lot of a lot of younger eyes missed it too. So I don't feel that bad. So anyway, yeah. So if you're creating a, if you're ever going to create any kind of redundant connection on Corp Extremes fabric, uh, make sure you remove those ports from Spanning Tree via the No Spanning Tree Force Port Enable Force Force Port State Enable command. So. All right, that's it for today. Um, I got to go uh, get more of these edge switches hooked up. So I'm going to try to get one in before my meeting this morning. And I'll try to do one this afternoon. And that'll put me in a good position for finishing this off next week. I hope. So as always, thanks for watching. Um, click the subscribe button and the notification bell if you so desire. Um, if you have any prayer requests or anything like that, throw them in the comments down below. And uh, if you know the exact mechanism that could have been causing this, <laughs> not that you would, but if you do, um, throw that in the comments down below. I know i got some pretty, pretty knowledgeable extreme guys out there uh, watching, and uh, I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate all you guys. So uh, have a great day. God bless, and we'll catch you next time.